Hey everybody, welcome to Tokyo. There's the Shinkansen going by. Not at fast speed because it just is starting from Tokyo Station. This is Yurakucho and I'm here today with a friend of mine who's visiting Japan and is going to report about the situation at the airport. How do you do? Hi, I'm, I'm doing well. Good. I was also talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Danny. He's visiting from, um, would you say Montreal, I guess? Yeah. From yeah. Quebec. <laughs> and he's been in Japan for about three days now? Yeah, three days. For three days. And he's suffering greatly from jet lag. Yeah. <laughs> what time do you wake up and go to bed? What's your routine like now? <laughs> uh, I wake up at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, no. My day starts, uh, yeah. What? My day starts hard. Early. Your day started at 2 a.m. Yeah. And right now you're about to go to sleep. So we, we picked you at yeah. probably the worst time. <laughs> well, Danny has very valuable information for everybody because he just arrived through at uh, Narita Airport, yeah. which is where a lot of people come through. And uh, the situation is always changing. And I think it might be a good time for a, a very quick travel update. Um, if you take a look here, this website is the... Um, what is it? The, the Japan tra web, I think it's called. The, Hold on a second. Japan web app. Vi yeah, the yeah. Visit Japan web app. Yeah. This is where you would register your vaccination yeah. certificates and stuff. It's right on you, right there. <laughs> um, the, the, you didn't have that though. So nope. what, tell me about your experience at at uh, Narita Airport from the time you get up. You flew Air Canada. Yeah. Oh, Air I'm Canada. so sorry. That's like the Spirit Air of. Can Are they good? Was this good? It's not the worst. It's, what's the worst? Air Transat, maybe. Okay, well. <laughs> Air Transat, maybe, is the worst. What was it like um, as soon as you arrived in Japan? What happened? And what was it like? Uh, you just arrived at that place and it split you with the color. It's the blue, red, and yellow. Blue, red, and yellow, okay. Yeah. I don't remember the color, but if you don't have the app, it's the same thing if you not have the vaccine. Right. So you go with the red at this place. If you're unvaccinated, you're red, you go to the red yeah. line. And if you vaccinate it and you have... The app. The app, it's okay. If you are vaccinated and you don't have the app... You're red. You're red. What? <laughs> so even if you're vaccinated, you gotta go to the red line. So yeah. all these people get shuffled into the other direction. Yeah. Basically, it it makes a lot of sense to, to register, even now, your vaccination yeah. on the web. Yes. Right? Yes. So so you're red, okay? You're not blue. No. I was blue. My experience was last year. I came back into the country. I was in and out in 20 minutes. Yeah. That's Haneda. It was crazy. Yeah. Well, what about you, we, as the Shinkansen goes by <laughs> here? Technically, if you go to the red, it's not that much a problem. You just have to go and uh, you scan a QR code and you just have a fulfilled few information, your name, the address where your hotel, the num phone number. Right. Just few, it took me two minutes after, you re after it gave you a QR code. And you go to see someone with this code, your passport and your country vaccinate proof. And after it's okay, you can go. Uh, it seems like a lot of work, but yeah. it, was, it went faster than yeah, you explained it, it maybe. It took me about five minutes, I <laughs> think. About five minutes. Um, how long did it take you to get through the, the process to, to the luggage into Japan? Like, yay, I'm in Japan from the gate to the... More than two hours and a half. <laughs> More than two and a half hours. What? Yeah. I what? was supposed to arrive at my hotel about 6, 7 p.m. But my flight was delayed to one hour and without the thing in Japan, I arrive at my hotel at 10, 44, 5 at the night. Uh, and didn't you arrive at midnight? Uh, 10, 44, uh, at 10, 44, At 10, 45, you right. arrived at your hotel? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, this is cr a very long, I did not realize that it would take you two and a half hours to get through the airport. There were so many people. I think that this is the deal <laughs> here. Um, by the way, if you're visiting right now in Japan, you're in Tokyo, come in, you can come and see us. Do you have the cards? Yeah. I have a stack of you found me cards. Well, actually, Danny has the stack here. You get one too, buddy. And uh, I want to hear from you. Maybe share your experience with us. I want to hear what it's like at the airport because a lot of people are coming into Japan now uh, have the same kind of questions here. Is there such a thing as French Canadian? 
that has nothing to do with Japan, but Danny is the only one who can answer that. Is there a French Canadian? Is that, a, is that real? Yes. Yes, we exist. You exist? Yeah. So your first language was French? Yeah, French. How's, and your English is pretty good? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand it, fine. <laughs> uh, so it took two and a half hours to get through the, the airport, and how many people were, is it, when, when you come in, you have a, if you have the app, you're blue, right? Yeah. So you go a different direction. You are, you go uh, straight to the, the gate after. You go straight the, in. So yeah. it, it really does probably, it, it seems like it's much faster yes. to have the blue. Um, but then you probably join with the reds again yeah, later. Yeah, people come at the same time, at the same place. It sounds like a, like a, like a football game, right? You have the red team and the blue team. The blue, the, the red team is the visiting team, and they got to go off to the worst uh, dugout. Yeah, it, it seems real complicated. But after that, when I arrived to the gate, they ask also ask for the app. So if you don't have this app for the step two, you have to fulfill another document. It took three minutes. Right. But you have to do this again. Ah. Give to the person. It's just it, more easy if you have the app. You just yeah. go uh, through this. Uh, the Visit password. Japan web app, I think it yeah. is, or something like that. And you can register. I think it's not even an app anymore. It's on a website now. I, I think, Because yeah. the app kept on crashing. There are privacy yeah. issues, I think. So they, uh, they, they changed it over to the web-based thing. At least that, that's according to uh, uh, the digital minister, um, uh, Taro Kono. Or is it, it's Kono Taro because it's Japanese. Yeah. He's on Twitter. He's he's hilarious. He has an English Twitter handle. One of the few Japanese politicians that does stuff in English, and uh, his he, he will share his experience inside the Japanese diet. Sometimes he's very high high level ranking uh, official. It's hilarious, like the food that they eat and stuff. He'll share with that. But he's also in charge of the app, and he realized it was a total failure, so he, he changed to a di uh, web based one. So following him might be really useful to get information on the digital world in Japan, which is not. Great. Hopefully, uh, Kono-san will be the next prime minister. I'm hopeful too. I think he'd be really great. But I think Kishida-san is doing a pretty decent job right now, even though he's not too popular. He's getting stuff done, which is rare. So maybe if he sets up a great situation for Kono, we'll have a, a golden age in Japan once again. Do you know any any of these people? No. No. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I, I don't like to talk politics, even in Japan. I don't. I don't, I don't like politics. I don't like politics at all. I just know that I want to know what's going on around me sometimes. <laughs> this is Yurakucho Station, everybody. Uh, Joshua Skidmore, thank you. Danny, do you drink beer? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, so it's coffee. Do you drink coffee? No. No? You make maple syrup? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we'll find the vending machine yeah. here. Um, I want to give you this really quick update. Uh, there's a great website, and a, a shout out to Inside Kyoto. They have been... Um, a really great source for so many people on the entry policies here. Inside Kyoto has it. I actually circled it up here on the t on the top, but it says that if you uh, if you are boosted with a COVID vaccine, you do not need a negative test. If you aren't, then you need a negative test. But I'm not sure because you're also vaccinated. Yeah. So if you if you don't you don't need a negative test to get on the plane, but you nope. need a negative. You, you need, so I'm I'm not really quite sure on this. So. Um, the site here wrote that information here. If, if you're right here, if you're boosted with a COVID vaccine, you do not need a negative COVID test before flying to Japan. If you are unvaccinated or not boosted, you need a negative COVID test. Yeah. So that's something if you are not vaccinated, you want to watch out for. But yeah. I have a feeling that's going to change because I, I think that this is just me and now my opinion. I think that in America, everybody has gotten it like once or twice or been vaccinated three or four times already. Probably Americans and probably Canadians too yeah. have the strongest for, immune for system back to Canada, they, because they, they let it run nothing. wild, right? And Japan probably has the weakest because uh, we were, I don't know, kind of yeah. meek with that. It's like uh, China has a very weak immune system from having a zero coronavirus policy, yeah. so maybe it's not a big deal anymore. In Canada, and we we didn't wear a mask for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, have a few cases sometimes. My cousin had COVID last week for a few oh, yeah. days. But oh, your cousin? Uh, yeah, but... Uh, it was okay? Yeah. Was vaccinated? One, one or two, I one, think. One or two shots? But the... Uh, yeah, I had it too. It was not... wasn't great, but I, you know, got over yeah. it. It's not something that you want to catch. Technically, the COVID was still forever, technically. Right.
You new normal. Yes. Yeah, so oh, let's walk over to Big Camera. I'll take you around a little bit. I gotta take you on a little tour here. Um, maybe we can find some street food. Put Joshua Super Chat to, to work here. The trains are going above us, so you can get a feel for the vi the uh, vibrant Tokyo audioscape here. Um, yeah. So I was I was really happy that you could you could make it to Japan and get here um, in one piece. But you said that the jet lag has been really tough. Yeah. So that's something I think if you've never, so you've never, have you left, traveled before? One time uh, with school uh, in New York City. Okay. With school. When? Like many years ago? In 2007. 2007? Wow. So you, ha you don't have a lot of experience traveling, no. but this is the first time to have jet lag. Yeah. How bad is it? Is it very bad or? Kind of, yeah. You feel I'm, bad? <laughs> I'm not used to that. Uh, not, right now, I. It's okay, but uh, lately, uh, this afternoon, I will be tired. Ah, uh, yeah. Know, I know that. <laughs> if you're looking around right now, I'm noticing that there's a lot less people wearing masks now. On March 13th of this month, they dropped the requirement, or just, it wasn't a requirement, they just changed the rules. They just said, like, you don't need one. And yeah. so I'd say, like, a, a third of the people aren't wearing masks outside and it's growing and that's kind of a good thing. It, yeah. it feels like it's more like back to normal. But, you know, people that are wearing masks, that's really good too. People can do whatever they want and I think that that's the, the way to go. Um, you have to find a way to get back to normalcy. Yeah, I took train many times and yeah. the most of the people wear a mask, but there are a lot of people don't wear masks in train. and Right, it's really changed a lot. I, I've seen... Uh, I still wear masks on trains, though. <laughs> but if not, I'm holding Leo, he'll take it off. Not me. <laughs> not you? <No. laughs> it's all right. They are so Japanese, don't wear it. Yet. Yeah. No, nobody bother you. I say I wear your mask. People do their dating, and that's it. It's nice to see Bradshaw Studios here. Thank you. And I see Rondania is here as well. How you guys doing? The cherry blossoms, uh, we might be able to see a couple of them. There's one I'm, I want to take you to uh, towards um, Hibiya Park. I want to show you Godzilla. Are you a Godzilla fan? No? Mm, not, not that really. much. Not that much. <laughs> well, I well, saw the movie. Yeah, well, after this, maybe you will be. Huh. I'm going to show you guys yesterday as we're walking. This was uh, last night. <laughs> this was last night as the sun was setting with the cherry blossoms. This might be the last a uh, full day with them as at full bloom like this because they're all starting to fall really quickly. So that might be the last full day for the cherry blossoms and it seems like uh, um, it, we're at the end of it. So maybe we'll have a good, a good day tomorrow. And then that's it. Look at this. This Baden Baden, this German stand took over for the uh, vending machine corner. What? Danny, this is news. Oh. Do you remember the vending machine corner? Yeah. It's it gone. There. It's a Baden Baden stand, which is in Germany. What? That's odd. It looks cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> Much cleaner. Hofbrau. It's a Hofbrau house. <laughs> what? They made it a Hofbrau house. How cool is that? I guess it's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm somewhat split. I dr I'm drinking way, way less than I used to, so it's not something I get excited about, but nice to have a sip or two. The Starbucks Cherry Blossom menu probably ends in April. I know it's not around much longer. It's funny, you know, the Cherry Blossom trends, it's really funny. They actually start in February. Like, in February, you start to see cherry blossom confections, food. The beer cans have cherry blossoms on the side of it. So it, it gives you like this, this feeling. I guess it's right after Valentine's Day, the cherry blossom season starts. Just like Halloween, or, uh, Christmas starts the day after Halloween <laughs> here in Japan. And, recent, and last year it started right before. So it's, it's funny like that. It's, very it's kind funny. of like that in Canada too. After Halloween, Christmas, Starts Christmas stuff, yeah. yeah. Get you in the shopping mood. Get some eggnog. The hard stuff. 
This place, this area has changed quite a bit over the last couple of years. You see, if you look up there, that's uh, Hibia Midtown, um, which is a brand new skyscraper. They have a pretty good food court down there. There's a couple of good bakeries. There's a Caldi, um, you know, the usual suspects, but I like it. For those of you that don't know, the Imperial Hotel, which is the one that Queen Elizabeth stayed at, Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe honeymoon there. It's a uh, Gosh, all the, all, all the famous people typically would stay at that hotel. It's going through a 10-year remake. It's going to be renovated. It's going to take 10 years, and it's going to come out looking even better. And uh, right now, I think a lot of the celebrities, when they come here, don't stay there because it, it's a little bit dated. It feels like the old Showa period. Um, they need to modern up a, a little bit, uh, and the, probably a good thing. But I, I kind of like that old show of fields. It makes you nostalgic for the past, but you can't live in it. To avoid the crowds, uh, which weekday? Um, I'm not sure what that means, but I'd say Tuesday to Thursday. <laughs> Just avoid. Did you see that limousine? Look how long that limousine was. You never see limos like that because people in Japan don't want to show off, so they will travel in um, much smaller cars. Even the emperor doesn't want to show off wealth, so you don't have limousines like that. But that was a massive stretch, probably like a, a Western VIP. Gosh, I saw a couple of uh, Rolls Royces and Bentleys. I it was, Ginza's pretty amazing right now. I, I'm just shocked at the amount of people that are around here. There it is. Do you see him? Yeah. Is that to be uh, supposed to be bigger? No. I don't know. Well, well, okay. when well, real life it's bigger, but this is just a baby. Ah. If you feed it after midnight, <laughs> anything can happen. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I, that's, this, that's, a, that's the sound that I, I chased uh, Leo with going around <laughs> yesterday. He took my hat. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> he stole it. Sometimes, sometimes he doesn't give it back. When he went to bed, I stole it back. <laughs> it was mine to begin with. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a really nice area. There's some uh, good restaurants in the back. But, you know, the restaurants underneath the tracks here, there's the Keihin to Tohoku line going by there. The restaurants underneath here are quite famous. This one is, a, I think this is Taiwanese. Tim Ho Wan is so good. They have, like, a, um, dumplings, dim sum. There's the whale playing. Otto, the, a man called Otto. Haven't been in the cinema for a long time. Japan is, you know, this, I remember when I first came here, the prices for movies was the most expensive by far. It was like uh, five or six dollars at, at for the cinema in the U.S. and it was. Right. My mouth dropped. I said, you kidding me? 18 bucks to go watch a movie? And they were really old cinemas back then. They, there weren't, going to the movies just wasn't part of Japanese culture, I don't think. This is a Kaya. You know, Danny, if you come here and walk at, at night, this is a really nice place. All the smoke will be billowing out from yakitori being yeah. cooked underneath That's here. Good. Yeah, so if you, if you come back here at, at night, it's really scenic. You can feel, um, I don't know, you really feel Ginza. This is the older side of it, the Yurakucho Hibiya side of it. I'm walking around to give you kind of an idea. Um, the, so basically, just to, run, just to um, uh, sum up this here, I put a link already in the description. This is from MOFA, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And if you are coming to Japan, you're gonna to wanna to bookmark this uh, website because this has all of the um, up-to-date information from the source so you can you know these YouTube videos sometimes they become somewhat obsolete after a month or so 
um, which is why I don't like to do Japan travel updates anymore. But if you need the latest information, you can get it from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or the Ministry of Health, Welfare, Health, Labor, and Wel Welfare, um, which also has uh, guidance on uh, the immigration policies for you know this current situation, which I think is going to be over soon. I think they said in May they're going to be downgrading this to the common flu, which means it's basically nothing. Um, although we all know that it's not, but you know it is. It's not. <laughs> it's complicated. It's like a relationship we're going to have to live with. It's complicated. So that's the website. That's the website here. The only country that has trouble, I think, it might be China and a couple of other countries. I just that trouble just it's more challenging to come in here. And China has reinstated. I heard from a, a friend of mine, uh, Scotty from Strange Parts. Um, will be uh, reinstating my Chinese visa. I have a 10-year oh. Chinese business visa. I don't even know how I got it. Uh, oh, I do. I gave a, a speech there uh, ten years, uh, five years ago. So, That's such a hard thing. It's, it's politics. I love China, but I don't like the Chinese government. Can you say that? I just, I just like, China is such an awesome country. Just the yeah. political stuff is is garbage. In our way, oh my for gosh. me, they on have both sides. I say that the U.S. too. The political stuff is so bad. For me, they, in a way, they have two China. You have China, the people. They the most adorable and. They're having, they work hard and they will have families. They want yeah. the best for their kids. I have a lot of friends there and. They just have a, a tough political situation because they have one leader yeah. and that's it. Oh. <laughs> just ride this for a day. In the shotgun position, you see that on the front? That's where you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Actually, that's kind of cool. Yeah, Imagine being on the cool. second floor. Do you, think if, do you think they'll wave at us if we... <laughs> let's, let's see if anyone will wave. Hello. They're going somewhere. <laughs> I want to join. Can I get on the bus too? <laughs> bye bye. Ah, I got one little wave. <laughs> we got one wave. I saw one, one of the grannies there Whoa, that waved at us. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, walk with me right in here. Once you get to Narita, it's easy. I think it. I think be, right now, here's here's the real situation. So according to uh, Japanese media, because I kind of watch this in the morning, um, I don't read the newspapers anymore. A lot of people do here. Uh, Fukuoka Airport is really in, in bad situation. They laid off so many workers, and then all of a sudden, they they can't. Uh, all these tourists started to come in because the border opened, and they still haven't able to get back up to 100 percent. So there's just not enough people staffed at the airports to get in the, um, the rapidly increasing flights into the country. So that leads to um, longer queues, especially for foreign visitors. But if Kanai, Leo and I come in, we can go to the Japanese line or I have a special uh, uh, entry. I've got a special line for me, people like me. <laughs> so we can go into there and we get out really quickly. But for the other process, it does take a lot of time. Yeah. So, depending, depending on, on the flight, no, depending on the number of person, right? You could get trapped yeah. <laughs> and have to wait for several hours. So my advice is use the restroom on the plane before you get off if yeah. you can. <laughs> Maybe. This is Sukiyabashi. This is uh, where, of course, uh, Sushi Jiro is down there in the basement. You're not allowed to take cameras or even go there to take pictures. He'll come out and, and yell at you which makes a pretty good picture. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Don't do that, sorry. I say, poor, poor guy. I, I, I hope he's retired. He'd be like 100 now. Yeah. I think the documentary was a blessing and a curse for him. He was already pretty popular. I don't <laughs> think he needed tourists. But it gave a really great insight into uh, the work ethic and, and how they do that. I thought that this was so interesting, Danny. Hold the presses. Loteria is, is, a, is a fast food chain I've been to once in 25 years. And I probably 
won't be going ever again. But they have upped their game. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you their version of the Gohan Burger. That's right. This burger has a, what looks like a half-baked egg, but that's just American cheese and seaweed on the top with rice. I'd eat that. But I won't, because <laughs> I don't need Lotteria, I don't know. I it just look, even the one time I had it, it was kind of sketchy. It's like, hey, you know what? All the different options you have in Japan, I don't think Lotteria is high on my list. Although you did. Danny, you get once, one time, get out a free card to eat McDonald's. That's it. Yeah. All right. And you've already used it on the first day. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can you can actually eat whatever you want, but I'm just. Mom, I would like to try it. <laughs> no, you. To, to no, see I if think the same taste. Uh... I'm not being. I'm not being a, a food snob here. Well, I, I sort of am because there's so many more things to try than just McDonald's. But McDonald's in Japan is pretty interesting to compare with yeah. McDonald's at home. So I have nothing wrong with it. But don't eat all your meals there because the menu is easy. Yeah. I try uh, McDonald's in the U.S. and it's awful. Is, is it different in Canada? Yeah. Really? In U.S., each time you bite in your Big Mac or take a fries, each time it looks like you take 20 pounds. It, it's wow. so heavy. It, it's, it's hard to say. It, do they have it's put, weird. Do they have poutine in, at McDonald's in Canada? Yes. <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> what? Oh, God. For us, Poutine, but uh, oh, they have a lot of people. But they have poutine. They have, yeah. That's something. Look at this wasabi burger they got as well. And the uh, teriyaki burger. Looks like they have... That's smart. They put the, uh, uh, like, a onsen egg, half-boiled egg on there. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Hey, if anybody is here in Japan, you can't make it uh, to meet us, then uh, you can write here in the chat. Tell us your experience, and I'll read it aloud. Because uh, I want to hear from you. What was it like for you to come in and enter Japan? Um, over the last couple of weeks, how has it changed? And if you've been here in the last couple of years, you were here last year, and, and again, how is it different? What was your experience like? What is it like at different airports? What is it like at Kansai and, and Haneda right now? Um, we've, we pretty much walked around the entire, we started at Yurakucho, which is, hold on, here, and we walked, oh, sorry, no, <laughs> I don't know, where am I? International Forum. So we started from Yurakucho, which is here. We walked underneath it and we walked all the way around this direction. That's pretty cool. So let's walk a little bit further and we'll go over to the... Um... Are you okay with time, Danny? Yeah. All right, so why don't we walk around... Um, I'm in uh... vacation. I'm not busy. Oh, you're on vacation. Well, that's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, not on vacation. I'm just... Actually, right now, I'm recovering. If you haven't already, Please do check out the latest episode on Only in Japan, the main channel. This is the episode. I just uploaded it last night. Uh, I went to bed at 3.30. I kept on tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it. The historical... I, I learned so much from this, the oldest business because experience matters. And uh, yeah, they're the most experienced. So this is a pretty interesting episode. Uh, uh, check it out. And leave me a comment. I love I, the first first day. I always read the comments. So if you're gonna insult me, do it in the first day because <laughs> I will definitely definitely read it. It might not be there when you go back, but I hope, well, but it'll be funny for me. I don't I don't take any. You can try to even get personal. Actually, I think with all of the blacklisted words, it won't even go through. But I I have never. I don't think. I can't think of a comment that I've taken personally. So I don't get, uh, what is it, offended? Is that the word? I just, what, I just move on. Let it go, let it go, life's too short. So is that car. Let it go. I hope it's not copyrighted. Yes. Can you get the Wi-Fi? Does it work? I would try. Danny's right now trying to get the Wi-Fi. Do you have to pay? Because a payphone is... Ginza. You think at a payphone you have to pay for the Wi-Fi, but it's, it says it's free. It's not very good business. I'm connect. Give this one. 
It does. It does, yeah. Oh, wow. It does. Interesting. So you connect it to the Wi-Fi from the oh, phone no, booth? No, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. I'm connect, but uh, no internet connection. Oh, you have to register. So yeah. you, go to the, you go to Safari, and then they make you log in. And they, you can put a fake yeah, password. I'll <laughs> All the simple thing to so do when I, it you put, in a, you put in a fake. This is a oh. famous statue. This building had been under construction, but you can take a look at it. It's the uh, uh, cu naked Cupid whose bum is, is facing um, the richest intersection in the, in the world for a time. <laughs> I think this girl look at him. Wow. I was telling Danny earlier when we walked uh, to lunch. You want to see what we ate for lunch, everybody? Let's see if I can. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to put that video on here. Maybe I can drag it in. There it is. Let, let's take a left here. Oh, there's the uh, mochi place. How's the signal, everybody? Usually, it's uh, a little bit lousy in this corner. Jason, is the signal okay? This is Wako on the uh, Yonchome intersection. I come here all the time because I live near here, so it makes a lot of sense that I'd be here the most. Please recommend accurate weather forecast in Japan. Um, Google. <laughs> That's a, what, what, do you, what do you mean? I don't. I really want to help people, but that makes no sense. Is an institution, the Rico Building, and it seems like it's being renovated. Um, I made news with this last time. Signal is good now. Okay, because uh, I wanted to show you our lunch. Got it all. This is so good. Is it playing? Oh, there it is. Okay. Did you like the katsudon? Yes. The only other person that knows where this place is is Irvin. <laughs> I took Irvin there once. I think he liked it. Yes, you can get a brown Porsche. I saw that comment. There's a French Canadian is not French. That's important to notice to, to point out. But basically, a, it's the same. It is the same. Yeah. Well, the languages. It is the same difference between U.S. English and uh, British the English. The culture is different. Yeah. Yeah. But in the language, it's kind of different. The accent is different, and sometimes the words. But it's the same difference between U.S. and British English, French and so French if, Canadian. So, if there's a war between France and England, do you root for France? Because the Queen is on your money, right? Yeah. So who do you root for, the French or the, the British? I prefer British. <laughs> okay. Well, just, uh, I take that, you're French. I take, take, we'll take your language. I'm using it like an Indian accent. I was just like... <laughs> technically, French Canadian. I can't do Fr French, French Canadian accent. as much... as much same like British le, than like French. We have more, more connection with British in a way. Okay, that's so interesting. I, I, if, I hang, if I hang around Jennifer for a long time, it'll start to come back maybe. But uh, if I do an accent now, it'll either come out Southern or, or Indian. Because I talk to family and... and uh... <laughs> Take that British. <laughs> Take that French. Yeah. We don't need you. <laughs> Sorry. I just like an Indian, try to talk another language. Okay. Oh wow, thank you. Where are you from? Oh wonderful. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice, thank you. Yeah, do you have a card? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Wow, oh, hey! <laughs> how you doing? Jeff, nice to meet you, Jeff. Yeah. 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 Jeff gets a card too, yeah. yeah. Oh thank you. Did you how long have you been in Japan now? I literally got here this morning. 
Wow. Uh, from Bangkok. Flew in from Bangkok. Well, here, to, can, show, yes, we're, we're live. You mind Hi. telling us? Tell us. Tell us Hi, about sorry, your. Hi, Jamie. First up. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Okay. Put the mic there. Tell us about your experience. What was it like coming in? Wasn't the greatest. Um, coming in through Haneda this morning. Um, now they've had this system in play for quite some time, but I had the two scan, two QR codes, and the. Uh, can we walk over here? The yeah, yeah. I think that was a better idea. In this, yeah. uh, direction. Thank you, Jason. Let's see if we can get a better signal over here. Yeah. Jason is our eyes and ears on the other side. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, young Shomei is pretty rough. Let's walk, walk, walk away from there and maybe go for a better signal. So the situation was, was it, it took a long time to get through. Yeah, so I mean, I would have thought that would have had it a bit better together by now since the system's been in place. Immigration, uh, the immunization one, you ju it's not even the QR code anymore, it's just the um, just a little link that says you're okay to go, but yeah. they still need it. Um, I noticed a lot of people that were missing the in, uh, vaccination page. Right. So uh, they got herded to another Japan part. Web or something. Yeah, herded to another part of the line. But if you had the two QR codes and the vaccination, you're fine. Um, Did you meet up with those people that had the blue and the red later on, or you were shuffled? No, I pretty much had all mine, so we got shuffled through. Um, the priority is given to anyone in a wheelchair, essentially, right. which is fair. So what um, was the total time in and out? Oh, about an hour and a half. Wow! Yeah. That's Haneda. Yeah, so we, we, our a and flight, by the way, good airline. Yeah. Um, first time I flew, good airline. Um, got here at about um, half an hour early, which is great because it took an extra oh, hour yeah. and a half to clear. So, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but um, I would just advise anyone, just get your QR codes together, um, get that immunization one. Register it on the website. Register it on the website and get, that page, get the result page, yeah. even though it's not a QR code. So don't worry about it if you don't get a QR code. Um, what was the other thing? Um, and when you get to the desk, have your QR codes ready. Because right. the line was like 10 deep, so if you can imagine, it was, you, you, I'm sure you've been through your native before. Right. It weighs in and out about 10 times. There was only like 12 officers this morning wow. processing internationally, which I thought was rather unusual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. And, um, yeah, just make sure you have those codes. So if you have that, you get, get through pretty, a lot quicker probably. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people who fumble around with the paperwork. When you, after a 14-hour flight or 10-hour flight, the last thing you want to do is a fumble around with yeah. paperwork. Yeah. Have it all ready. When yeah. you, the yeah. moment you get off the plane, when I came off, people met you when you got off the plane yeah. to shuffle you into the oh, blue, yeah. red, and it was yellow. Like, it was the like second you camp. step yeah. up. So you want to have it. When you're on the line queue to exit, have have your stuff together. Yeah. And then you show it to them and they'll shuffle you right yeah. out the door. No, literally like an army camp. Oh, the other point, the other <laughs> point. so Japan. Yeah, the other point, just to note, when you go through passport control, obviously you collect your bags, but what they don't tell you properly is that you met, there's another scanner near the um, customs door. Oh, okay. So, uh, because that was the thing, everyone was just joining the queue, like myself, to um, go straight out the door. Right. If they want to do a random check, that's fine. And they were just, um, what happened was the girls were telling us to go back because there's another scanner. It's a self-serve scanner. Right. And then some people are holding it up because it didn't go through properly. So they're reactivating the code in front of the machine, yeah. which they should step aside and, you know, other people have got the code, just scan it and scan. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, on an off note, um, yeah, three in, November 2019 is when I last saw you. Wow. Yeah, so uh, down at- I look older, fatter, grayer. Oh, we all do. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to get an order of business out of the way. That was a super chat. That was long overdue. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Better in person. Much. I wanted to get you look, something. Look at oh. us made of gold. <laughs> thank you. I mean, anyone, most of Asia will know what the packet is, the significance of it. So, yeah. No, long overdue. Um, I wanted to get something for your little one, but unfortunately, I just ran out of time. That's all right. It's all right. They got He's us so working. So spoiled. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm Yeah>. just... <laughs> That's great. We're, we're, I've been trying to do a meetup as well, but I just at that last episode I uploaded nearly killed me. So. Oh, it's oh. been yeah. Oh, I can imagine it's a big following now. The world, world's oldest hotel. That was. Good. You can see it right now if it's, if you are online. Yeah. <laughs> No, I can wow. imagine. So and what is your plan for this trip 
this time? You know what? Honestly, when I came here, it was booked at short notice. Work, 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 last few weeks of work were so busy, I did not plan anything. I even I got that fed up of like how long it took this morning. I left, I left um, the airport straight away, not thinking that I had, didn't have change any currency. Yeah. And most of the places open at ten. Right, right. So I haven't even still to now haven't organised uh, money change or my SIM card yet. So wow. Yeah. So it's a bit embarrassing, but. Hey. <laughs> You get on the Shinkansen then? You're gonna um, around a little bit. I've got a pass, but I haven't finalised it. I wanted to go down to, and I've already forgotten. <laughs> right south. Remind me, remind me, remind me. Oh, in the south, Kyushu. Yeah. No, no, no. Right. Hiroshima. In... No, no. Last city on the. Oh no. Osaka. No, no, no. Like right south. Right south. Yeah. Right south. You mean west? No, no. South. Right at the end. Oh. Okinawa? No, no, no that's out. Kagoshima? Our... Kagoshima. That's okay, the that's on the island of Kyushu. That's actually yeah. West Japan, they would say. Oh, yeah. Japan good point. looks like north to south, but it's actually yeah. east and west. Yeah. And I was confused too. I still don't. I still think of the same yeah. way. That's yeah. why I know what you're talking about. Yeah. When people say south, they're thinking like. Izu? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I think one thing I did, uh, I made a mistake last time, was um, I relied too much on the rail pass. And you spend uh, so much time on train, you get into right. that thing because you think the trains are free. Right. As you're going along and booking left, right and centre, but you don't really get time to see the places. I don't like the Shinkansen in the sense that it's too fast. And I know yeah. that a lot of you probably think that that's crazy, yeah. but the more you ride it, the more it feels like an airplane. You're just commuting from one place to another after your 10th time riding it. Yeah. But it is really cool. However, it just goes by like a... Yeah. It's fast. You yeah. don't really soak in the stuff where the local trains you can. Yeah. I like to open up the window. Sometimes there's nobody even on the local trains. Yeah. And you can stick your head out the window, which don't, don't do that. No. I just said that. No. But you, you, if you did, and there's nobody around, no one would know. Well, maybe you're teaching the kids at home, John. Don't do it. Don't do yeah. it. I, di I didn't do it. <laughs> no. Um, no. I mean, there's all different types of sh you know, um, shape, weird shape and sizes of the trains here in Japan. You may as well just explore them all. Not exactly. Just all, all about going on the bullet train. Yeah. Yeah. I think for some people, including maybe me, my, my first couple of years here, I want to extract every single yen out of that pass. Yeah. Every penny, if I can get it, and the Shinkansen is the most expensive, so I would take that to extract the most out of the pass. Well, that was the <laughs> thing. That was my. Like that. that was my mistake. I know who you yeah. are. Yeah. That was my mistake as well. So I mean, you don't get the. Um, yeah. The opportunity to explore where you're going. Exactly. Yeah. I think that that's well said. Well, what, so do you have a? Are you filming too? You have a channel? Um, oh, I'm. I'm. No, no. I'm. I'm useless at anything. I'm still learning. <laughs> I think if I call my channel, it would be called Broken Gimbals. Breaking Gimbals. Mm. I, actually, that would be an interesting channel. That's an interesting name. <laughs> I don't think you'd have DJI sponsoring you or Insta360. No, no. <laughs> um, no, I definitely wouldn't get sponsorship. Oh, then, well, you should then, you should do a rehashed um, advice based on, what? on your knowledge. For what? For yeah. what? Like people who <laughs> want to take a gimbal to Japan. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know. I, I, I can't keep up with the gimbal, gimbal culture because it's changing so darn quickly. The Insta360 has this new AI looking gimbal thing that I'm probably not going to buy because I just got this thing. Yeah. But it's just fascinating to see the directions that it's going. We haven't even reached the end of it. I thought we had. Apparently, there's more. Yeah. I think, is that the app? The Apple store is out of business too? No, I think we're just walking oh, right shoot. past. Oh, there yeah. it is. I, yeah, you know how I feel about them. No, they never gave me my phone. But American Express, after one year of fighting them, I fought, I was fighting everybody. I was <laughs> even fighting some of you. There will be a time Sorry. Though, where you just gotta let it go. Yeah, let it go. <laughs> so I let it go, and then after I let it go, American Express said that they would reimburse me for the purchase. American Express would have done it, but yeah. Japan Gold doesn't. They yeah. said, you have to upgrade to Platinum. I said, well, so how much is the Platinum per year? It's $1,000. That's as much as the phone. So I, I'm not a big fan of Apple. I gave, I, or American I, Express Japan. <laughs> it's like they really shake you down here. We're not going to start protesting out here. <laughs> is this actually a Freedom! Is this a, tem <laughs> is this a temporary store? Or? No, the one over there is, uh, they tore it down. 
actually. Oh, right. Yeah, they yeah. tore it down. It just... Should I oh. start picketing? I, I don't have a sign. I need to make a sign. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the type. I would do it passively, aggressively on a live stream. That's my stuff, my style. John, honestly, I would not know how to use this thing. I'm practicing as I go along. I only just I like this few. one better than the one I have, actually. Yeah. So you have the uh, OM uh, 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 SE. SE. Yeah. yeah I, this yeah. is better than this one, I think, because the battery's better. You can charge out of it. I can't do that with this. Oh, right. And the battery's already, after one time, it's almost done. This thing was, okay. lasts forever, so you I have think, a good purchase. I think it's the old story. If you keep it simple, it will use less exactly. battery. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. does a great job of stability. This one's better than the five that I have, but I might have had a faulty I'm, five. I'm terrible at stabi stability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you know, actually, you know what the funny thing was? So I went to them, uh, so I, went to, I think it's the last days today or tomorrow. Yeah, I think, did you see Peter uh, there? No, he, oh, he's Peter, in Bangkok at the moment. Peter was there, yeah. Oh. Okay, can I can okay. I, I, I think Peter, Peter was there. I had a little, um, I had a bit of a Facebook joke this morning. Uh, why, why tells me we're going to buy a new car? So she tells me, oh, I think you should go to the Bangkok Motor Show and have a look at the have a look at new cars, take some pictures of the new models. Now, knowing me, I only heard part of what my wife said. Models, okay. <laughs> so I've got all, I've got all these photos of models. I think that might be half of what Peter is filming <laughs> for his channel. He does one on the Motor Show every year and he, it usually does pretty well. Uh, his motor shows in the past like a million views and stuff, so he's, he does a pretty good job with that. No, this no. is a really famous toy store, by the way, the yeah. Haku Hing Khan um, has a lot of history. So if you, somebody asked me, where do I find Legos and stuff, it probably here would be the place in there for some toys. How's that sort of a feel of that toy shop in Home Alone? Yeah, it feels like the old school uh, uh, toy shop. Uh, so that's about it here. I wanted to say one more time here, plug the, the new episode, which is available on the main channel right now. It is about 14 minutes long, and you will learn a lot of Japanese history in there and, and see my experience staying there uh, with my friend Joe Hatab, who's with me. So thank you both of you for sharing your experience. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to hijack your channel any further. <laughs> Did that last time. <laughs> no, no. Uh, actually, this is really good information. I appreciate you both sharing it with us. I'll see you in another episode tomorrow, everybody. Stay safe out there. Take care. <laughs>